Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy. Before I get started, I just wanted to let everyone know about a live stream masterclass that I'm doing tomorrow. That's Tuesday, November 6th, 2018, over at ask.video and macprovideo.com. This will be an hour and a half to two hour stream on vocal production in Logic Pro 10, using flex pitch for tuning and harmony creation, as well as Logic stock plugins for vocal production and mixing. The stream will be at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, so that's 10 a.m. Pacific Time. The stream will be recorded so you can access it later, or if you can't make the stream time. Check out the link in the video description below to sign up. So back when Logic 10.4 was released, they added a few new instruments, two of which were the studio strings and the studio horn instruments. Now these instruments have different uh, instruments that you can pick from, as well as different articulations that you can pick from. Now these articulations can make these instruments sound very expressive and very realistic because each of the sampled recordings were played in a different style. So this is the sustain articulation for trumpet. So it's got some nice vibrato on it and whatnot, but it may not be the playing style that you want for all your recordings. Maybe you want something that's marcato. Or maybe you want something a bit more expressive. Let's try this expressive long uh, articulation. Although it's also sort of a sustained playing style, it's a bit more expressive. It starts loud, then ducks down, then swells up, and then swells back. And also the rate of the vibrato is different. There's these different falls as well. Or you may want to do something like this. Now, obviously, you don't want to stay on some of these articulations permanently. Maybe the majority of the melody or harmony or whatever it is you're trying to create is sustained with a few other articulations thrown in here and there. For example, with the violins, one thing that's very common is to use like a sustain articulation for chords and things like that. But every once in a while, maybe you want to play like in a staccato style or a spiccato style. And there's a big difference between actually using the staccato articulation and just playing short with the sustain articulation. So as you can hear, it's a completely different playing style. And something like pizzicato is, isn't even played with the bow, it's plucked, the strings are plucked. So you may think that one way to use this is to create as many tracks as you need, all with different articulation styles assigned. Well, there's like an easier way to do this, and it's not super obvious in Logic. Um, what we can do is we can switch back and forth between these different articulation sets or articulation IDs with piano roll. So let's actually start with the studio strings here. Um, I'm just going to mute the studio horns. In the piano roll editor, there's nothing obvious that shows us that we can switch between these different articulation IDs. If I type in some notes, It pretty much just sticks with the last articulation that I selected. So what you can do is you select the track in the arrange window, go down to the track inspector here, and down here where it says articulation set, and there's two different articulation sets, one for studio horns and one for studio strings. So let me choose the studio violins articulation set, and what you'll see is this new menu shows up called articulation. So what you can do is you can select different notes and choose the, the unique articulation just for those notes. So I've switched these over to sustain right now. But maybe I just wanted this last note here to be more expressive. Let's try the forte piano fast. So here's an example with the articulation set to sustain on all of these notes.
So it's a little stale with just the sustain articulation. What I'll do is I'll select all of these short notes here, and we'll make these the staccato articulation. So with those selected, you can change the articulation to staccato. And these long notes down here, I'll change some of these to the more expressive uh, forte piano, uh, slow and fast. So these longer notes, let's actually make these a little longer. And I'll make these forte piano slow. And I'll make these forte piano fast. Let's see what that sounds like. So I've added a second Studio Strings instrument, and for this one I've chosen the cellos instrument, and I've chosen the Studio Cellos articulation set here. And I'm gonna use the pizzicato articulation. So this is a plucked uh, playing style where they don't use the bow. And then let's listen to these all together. So instead of having like eight or 10 or 12 different tracks, each with different articulations selected, you could literally just have four tracks for your four main string instruments in the orchestra, violins, violas, cellos, and basses. And then you can just go back in and switch up the articulations for each of those tracks as needed. So here's an example with the trumpet uh, instrument in the studio horns. Right now, this is all a sustained articulation. And that doesn't sound bad, but it doesn't have uh, a realistic sort of flavor to it. What I want to do is change up the articulations to make it sound more realistic. So I'll choose the Studio Horns Studio Trumpet 1 articulation set for this. And on some of these notes, I want to make this more staccato. So let's select some of these. And we'll choose the staccato articulation for those. Let's give that a shot. And maybe on this last note, we want to do something uh, a little more expressive with it. So for this one, we could choose the expressive medium articulation. So that's how you can use articulation sets with studio strings and studio horns in Logic Pro 10. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.